winter storm, our nor'easter, and there you can see the shield of snow continuing from southern New England right down through eastern Virginia. This is all backlash snow right up into New York City, so accumulations here will be minimal, maybe one to three inches. But still some very heavy, intense snowfall to be found over southern New England and into extreme southeastern New York right in through here. So let's get you a little closer look with our radar in motion as we take into southern New England. Did see some drying here moving up through uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island. Now you can see that moisture swirling up from the southeast here. So it's still getting bursts of snow. And here's the main area, very heavy snow. There's one band here that's just about stationary. You'll probably see 12 to 18 inches out of that. And still you can see bursts of snow coming up through southeastern Massachusetts and then right up through the Mass Pike here. So it is a, not a good day to be outdoors with the heavy snows and the strong gusty winds making for blowing and drifting near whiteout conditions at times. We did see that drying area earlier over New York City and Philadelphia, but notice now the little backlash is sliding its way southeastward, so it looks like snow and blowing snow for a few more hours here. And down to the south, down around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, looks like the worst of it's about over as everything now is sliding southeast. But those of you in southeast Virginia, where you didn't see much accumulation, well, you'll probably pick up a dusting to an inch or so, just enough to make it very slick and hazardous. Looking at the snowfall forecast for you, there you see it. Uh, the main area of snow falling from extreme northeast Pennsylvania, southeast New York, and right on into Massachusetts there. And then there's your backlash coming on down the coast, just a dusting to a couple of inches. Winds still very much a problem with our low center here. Uh, we'll be looking at the potential for coastal flooding and beach erosion there in southeastern Massachusetts and right down to Long Island here, high tide right about now in eastern Massachusetts. And those winds will be blowing 55, 65 miles an hour at times, making for some very low wind chills. So, so there's a look at those uh, winds and wind gusts. It's uh, just a terrible day. Well, yesterday, well, we had all sorts of problems for you from Washington, D.C. right up to New York City. In Newark, New Jersey, it was gridlock and the snow was coming down heavily and we had blizzard conditions there. This was the typical scene at many of the airports in the Northeast and the airport of course still closed and the poor visibility yesterday made it almost impossible to see the de-icing crews trying to keep up with the blizzard. On the Long Island, well you don't see uh, a lot of snow like this too often but white out and blizzard conditions, that's what the folks on Long Island have been dealing with. We've had reports of anywhere from 14 to 26 inches of snow out on the island and that is just incredible traffic of course just horrible there in Amityville and over Cape Cod another place you don't expect to see very heavy snowfall but in Bourne Mass you, know, you saw a ton of snow yesterday it really came in last night and during the morning over a foot has fallen and we'll probably see another 6 to 12 inches or so here and high winds will accompany that snow today so for the winter golfers it is a real nightmare no place to go play golf in the Northeast, as even Cape Cod has seen very heavy snows. Well, that's the latest we have to report for you on the blizzard of 1996. We'll continue to have some live updates on the storm from the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic. Right now, let's throw it back to the forecast with Mike Bono. Okay, let's uh, check that good afternoon forecast now. This afternoon, we'll be seeing that low beginning to pull on out. Low pressure still currently south of Cape Cod, as Mark was saying, <clears throat> and the snow lightening up around New York, at least for, at times, and still coming down pretty heavily in southern New England. Look at this, a warm front beginning to come on in from the west through the Great Plains. Good news there for places like Denver and uh, Lincoln, if you want that warm weather. The Colorado Rockies getting a, a brilliant sunshine for the skiers to enjoy that snow that you got in the last few days. And new snows in the northern Rockies and Cascades is our low finally um, begins to pull on out to sea by early tomorrow. Then it'll be a windstorm in Maine. Pretty windy and icy uh, conditions still in a lot of the northeast. Precipitation tailing off in the east and a little bit of a burst of rain in the west, southwest Oregon and northern California, as we see the snows in the Cascades and around Yellowstone Park and still dry and warm weather southwest and there's your snow total expected up to a foot or six inches to a foot additional in southeast New England as temperatures stay cold. Even in the south, 30s, uh, maybe you'll get above freezing in Atlanta and Birmingham. It's going to be a cold one. 60s West Texas though to 80s. It was even 90 degrees in parts of Southern California yesterday, the highest in the country. Low temperatures in New England, not unusual for this time of the year. And then the cold still in the east mainly as we're seeing those 70s in Texas. And uh, Southern Cal, the warm weather keeps on keeping on, even San Francisco, some 60s into Wednesday as we stay seasonably chilly 
and a lot of the northeast and the Great Lakes. 60s bowing on up to about uh, southern parts of South Dakota. That's going to be a really warm spell for this time of the year. Rain and mountain snows in the northern Rockies and the jet stream just cutting through here, keeping or dividing the really chilly air from some milder air to the south. But then a new trough of low pressure begins to dig on down as we go on through the week. And you could have yourself another low developing in the coastal plain on the east coast, dragging that snow even further southward. We're going to check skiers' forecasts and, of course, your local forecast. All that coming up very shortly. How many lotions have you tried? About a million lotions. Until I tried Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. Why Jergens? It works with your skin, not just on it. It works with your skin? It penetrates to heal dry skin from within. And it helps my skin seem to retain its own natural moisture. This is great lotion. I love the way it makes my skin feel. It's silky, it's smooth, like cashmere. So who's good to your skin? Jergens, Jergens, Jergens. Feel this. <laughs> Ultra Healing Lotion, another beautiful idea from today's Jergens. What are you planning to do for the weekend? Go to the park. Beach volleyball. I do my flowers. Jogging. Play basketball. Bicycle. I fish, yeah. Before you plan, watch the weekend outlook. If you're planning something, you can, you can, you can find out what to expect. It's good to know if my weekend's going to be indoors or outdoors. Watch the weekend outlook only on the Weather Channel. your local forecast. Accurate, convenient, and dependable. Only on the Weather Channel. for these children. Their cancers won't wait for a cure. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, the race to find a cure depends on you. I come to St. Jude because I have non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I have leukemia. Time may be running out, but it's not too late. And any contribution you can make, no matter how small, will help kill the cancer that's killing these children. Sometimes I scream because it hurts. Your gift will provide research, treatment, and hope. At St. Jude, no family pays for their child's treatment. That's why whatever help you can give is so important. Please call now with your tax-deductible gift. If you like, you can even charge your gift. If I had one wish, it would be that there was a cure for cancer. Please call and help us right now. There isn't a second to lose. When you go on vacation, you want to be close to the action. When you stay in Kissimmee St. Cloud, the magic of Disney World is right at your doorstep. Next door is the excitement of Disney MGM Studios. You'll find new discoveries at Epcot. Just around the corner, you'll see the wonders of SeaWorld. Hold on, you're on an amazing adventure at Universal Studios. Stay in the center of it all at an affordable price. Kissimmee St. Cloud, the best vacation value. For your free close-up guide with discount coupons, call 1-800-367-KISS. This edition of the Skier's Forecast is sponsored by Maximum Strength Comtrex. For your miserable cold, Comtrex does it all. And uh, for those of you who are planning on going skiing in Pennsylvania today, well, of course, of the state of emergency and the blizzard conditions, uh, you can't get to those mountains where we've had all that good snow like Shawnee Mountain and also around Seven Springs. So even though there's been 18 inches of new snow, it, it should be reopening soon, okay? so. Uh, take that with a, a grain of salt, all that great snow. But once those roads get cleared and, and the governors let you out there, 
we should have uh, some great skiing to be had. And those of you at the mountains, you are just loving all that fresh powder. Storm system winding down, but the southern New England ski resort's really getting hammered today. Then a weak system comes by, a little fresh snow on Wednesday. I thought you were home with a bad cold. Oh, but now I feel better. Did you take Sudafed for your stuffy nose, chlortrimeton for sneezing? I only took Comtrex. Extra strength Tylenol for headache, Robitussin maximum strength for your cough? For a cold, why take all these when Comtrex does it all? what conditions to expect when you reach your destination. Watch the business travel forecast only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. What in the world? Dad took it when you walked me to school that first day, remember? It's amazing you didn't hate me forever for making you wear those galoshes. You've always tried to protect me, Mom. That's why I bought that extra life insurance. When Dad died, I found out a funeral can cost over $6,000. I never want to leave that kind of burden on you. If you're a man or woman between the ages of 45 and 75, the Mutual of Omaha companies have a guaranteed life insurance plan that fits you perfectly. It can cost you as little as 29 cents a day, and it's guaranteed in five ways. Your payments will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease. There are no health questions. You don't even have to take a physical. You can't be turned down, and it can't be canceled ever. Call toll-free for your free information. There's no risk or obligation. Call 1-800-317-5511. Operators are available. Call now. 1-800-317-5511. the Weather Channel. Accurate and dependable forecasts you can always turn to. And when you're away from your television, the Weather Channel forecast is also available from the following. This edition of the Florida Forecast is sponsored by the number one sunshine destination in the world. Let's show you the sunshine with our visible satellite picture. Let's roll it. And here you can see a lot of sun coming down and through most of the peninsula, some low clouds, strategic cumulus clouds coming in from the Gulf with that very cold air sliding southeast and down the peninsula here. 
We have all that cold air in place. Another cold night tonight and already some freeze warnings are being issued. Another satellite vantage point for you shows you the big storm is long gone now. Just a lot of cold air pouring down into the southeast and down through Florida in particular. Water temperatures kind of cool, only in the 50s at Clearwater Beach, low 70s down around the Keys. Forecast highs for this Monday, only in the 40s around Jacksonville and down in South Florida in the low 50s. So winter has even made it here down to the Sunshine State and residents here be prepared for a very cold night tonight. Mike has your five day outlook and that's coming up next. Oh, look, honey, our vacation brochure is here. Yeah. Oh, dining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, adventure. <laughs> Romance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, romance. Return to your senses in Florida. Return to your senses in Florida. For information, call 904-487-1462. No matter how much you plan, if business travel keeps you on the road or up in the air, you're probably used to the unexpected. At the Weather Channel, we know the weather can slow you down. That's why we offer the business travel forecast. Get the information you need to plan for your travel and know what conditions to expect when you reach your destination. The business travel forecast on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. Time for the five-day planner. Mike Bono and uh, Mark Mancuso with you this hour. Melvin Foy is our director as we take a look and uh, sum, sum up some of those totals. Uh, folks really in the dark. We came up with a new color here to give you more than 24 inches of snow. So they're in the dark in a lot of New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Uh, in fact, a state of emergency is uh, existing, so that's why I'm saying that. And on into southwest uh, Virginia and parts of Kentucky. Now the skiers are just having a field day if you can just get to the ski resort. Some of the, this is such a, a monumental storm that the, the, some of the roads are just very hard to negotiate. Nearby, not too far from New York City, Elizabeth, New Jersey, 32 inches of new snow. Philadelphia, an all-time record with 30. Dulles' airport had, I believe, 27 back in the President's Day storm, so that's not a, a storm record. But uh, some 24-hour records at Roanoke and Lynchburg, Virginia. Philadelphia had a 24-hour record. Uh, LaGuardia is, uh, has 22 inches on the ground right now, and Boston up to 11. Let's take a look at our satellite photograph. And you can see uh, quite an impressive shield of uh, blue clouds. These are the high clouds and, and snow falling under this. A very well-developed storm. Now the low pressure moving out offshore. And you can see where it is right now with the snow up to about the southern tip of Maine, New Hampshire, and sweeping on back into the eastern Carolinas. But a lot of wind and cold all the way down to just about the Gulf. We take a look at the pivoting and tilting of our precipitation area as it brushes on up into the coastal islands of Maine and some gale, if not storm force winds, still coming down pretty hard around New York and still snowing in Boston and even down to Washington. So it's not giving up, but the accumulation is definitely slowing down. Now let's check our forecast for the afternoon and we'll see where that low is headed. Uh, south of Cape Cod, slowly easing on eastward and that slow movement is one of the things that keeps this thing going and uh, keeps it dumping snow. But out in the Midwest, we're looking at a warm flow of air down from the Rockies, so dramatically warmer temperatures. It'll start slow because there is snow cover out here, but by the end of the week, you could be into the 60s, as we'll see on up into South Dakota, as low pressure keeps that north wind going tomorrow morning off the east coast, a chilly wind. We'll have a weak weather system with widespread light snows. There's really no moisture source for this except for the Great Lakes, so the lakes will probably have more than anyone else but it'll just make it a cloudier day in a lot of the Northeast, including New York City and Boston. <laughs> You're in the grip of it now with some rain to the Northwest and some snow even into the Rockies. San Francisco could get some showers, but until then, uh, 60s, 80s still in the desert. It was even up to 90 uh, in Southern California, 87 at the Civic Center in LA. Looking at some seasonably cold weather, at least uh, the temperatures are not totally out of control. You expect them to be hanging around 20. Uh, on the coastline when you've got a snowstorm going through. 70s, back in 
Texas and 80s in the desert southwest, we see temperatures not far from normal, even east of the Rockies, warming up in the high plains and 60s on up to Redding and Red Bluff. You're really not, e not having much of a rainy season so far this year. You had one tremendous storm in the northwest, but after last year's January, which was a record breaker, and then March was another big one, so far it's been pretty dry. Let's take a look at precipitation systems. We're looking at snow showers again Wednesday, but here's our next troublesome weather system coming through. Looks like the rain snow line will be certainly out of the deep south this time, unlike the last storm. But a trough still digs, it still deepens, and the Appalachians are right on the edge with rain, snow, and a mixture even to Washington. Then by Saturday, that cold air really sweeps on through again. Cold and somewhat snowy in the east. More on the cold coming up. <laughs> No matter what kids are up to, one thing they're always into is Sunny Delight. Well, now there's new Sunny Delight Light. It's low in calories, with the same vitamins as regular Sunny Delight, and a great citrus taste. And that's something any kid will flip over. New Sunny Delight Light, the good stuff kids go for. This seasonal solution is sponsored by Buick, the new symbol of quality in America. Here's Marnie Stanier. When do you use your ceiling fan? In between seasons when you can get by without the air conditioner? Well, that's all, then you're missing out on energy savings. In the hottest weather, you should run the fan along with the air conditioner. The direct airflow creates a cooling wind chill effect on the skin. A 78 degree thermostat setting feels like 72. So with the fan on, you can raise your thermostat, still stay cool, and save energy. The fan uses no more electricity than a 100-watt light bulb. During winter cold, use the fan together with the heat. Switch the blade direction to clockwise. The reverse airflow forces warm air that has risen to the ceiling back downward. The room warms evenly, and drafts disappear. So whether it's 32 or 92 degrees outside, turn on your ceiling fan and turn on year-round energy savings. I'm Marnie Stanier for the Weather Channel. When was the last time you played in the rain? Let your hand go wild. Flexed your muscles to the world. Stayed up past your bedtime. When was the last time you really had fun in a car? Riviera. I've driven this road hundreds of times, but I never really noticed it until about six weeks ago, around the time I started using Ginsana. Ginsana is a natural supplement. My daughter gave me a box, said it helps my body use oxygen better. It makes the most of my natural energy. All I know is I feel better, more alive. Ginsana opened my eyes to a more energetic me. And to all this, feel your Ginsana, the original all-natural energizer. International weather, now 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. And now your local forecast. Accurate, convenient, and dependable. Only on the Weather Channel.
This is a special edition of WeatherScope with the latest winter storm update. Well, the blizzard of 1996 is winding down in the mid-Atlantic states, so cities like Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and Richmond can breathe easier. But it's still blowing pretty hard in the northeastern United States. New York City still very cold and windy. Snow has let up. It's not coming down like what it was, but it's still a real mess across most of southern New England and interior southeastern New York State. Let's take you to the history of our storm and show you the swath of snow that blanketed the ground from Missouri to Kentucky, and then right up through the Appalachians and into the northeastern United States. Where you see the wide areas, we've had over a foot of snowfall, but in the purple areas, we have seen over two feet of snow. We've had reports of one to two feet of snow and from southern Indiana into the mountains of West Virginia, where we had reports of up to 37 inches of snow, powder snow at snowshoe, so the skiing is just great. Now, in the big cities, we did find very heavy snows, incredible snows in Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., New York, New York, and Providence, Connecticut, and Providence, Rhode Island, and now in Boston, Mass., the snows uh, continue to pile up slowly but surely, snowing at the rate of one to two inches an hour in through the southern New England states. As we take a look at the record snowfall, yesterday the snow was coming down at the rate two, three, four inches an hour, and just an incredible 29 and a half inches in Philadelphia, record 24-hour snows there. Roanoke, Lynchburg, Cincinnati, and we did have some record snows too, I do believe, around Newark in New Jersey. And of course, at the airports, with all types of snow and wind, just some terrible conditions, and all these airports are closed, and a lot of them are saying, just forget about it for today, and they'll be evaluating at 6 p.m. tonight. So we certainly do advise you check with your favorite airline and, and see the status of your flight. Now let's go to the uh, to the Capitol Plaza there. We're going to go right out to, to the nation's capital, and I can see Jeff Morrow there clearly today, and Jeff has a big smile on his face, so that gives us a, a clue that this storm must be winding down. Jeff? Uh, you're exactly right, Mark. The storm has pretty much wound down, uh, except for the wind and the cold air that's being brought in on those strong west and northwesterly winds. So the wind chill factor is still a bit of a problem here today, and we're going to have more blowing and drifting, which is going to cause some problems uh, with some of the roadways, uh, particularly ones that have not been plowed, or even the ones that have been plowed are probably going to drift back shut. So they're going to have a, a bit of a problem keeping those roads open. Uh, speaking of open, nothing is open here, basically, in the nation's capital. Uh, we we have all the government shut down, federal and the city government shut down. All the schools are closed. And as you mentioned, the airport shut down too. So kind of a city on hold at the present time because of Mother Nature. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff. And we'll be hearing from Jeff throughout the day. We'll also hear from Jill, Jill Brown in New York City. That snow's moved away from D.C., but now it's slid all the way down into Norfolk and northeast North Carolina, where it's getting a little bit slick. Let's show you the storm with our satellite picture. And as we show you that visible picture, you can see a nice swirl here off to the south of New England. That is the center of our low. And I'll tell you this, it's just kind of creeping and crawling off to the east here, and the moisture is just pouring in to southern New England and headed south down the Atlantic coast here. As we show you our surface map, you can see the low, well defined there, of the big red L, and that continues to move right along the direction of that purple line there. Circulation quite strong around the storm, isobars tightly packed, winds have been gusting, say, 35 to about oh, 50 miles an hour, so uh, a lot of blowing and drifting of the snow. As we show you the radar, look at the snow. It's all the way from Boston through New York City, Philly again. It's ended, though, in D.C., where Jeff is, and it's coming right down into northeast North Carolina. Heaviest of the snows, though, coming up through the New England states. This band right over here in western Mass to south of Albany there, just about stationary, snowing at the rate of one to two inches an hour, and we'll probably wind up one to two feet of snow in through here, and it's uh, blowing and snowing pretty hard just outside of Boston. And this is all snow down here in the Cape as the winds are coming in out of the north. Around New York City, there was a little break. Now that break is gone. There you can see the snow. Philadelphia, last gasp of snow. D.C., the snow is moving out. Everything here sliding off to the southeast. So this is the backlash snow, but uh, with a lot of wind, there'll be a lot of blowing of this very light snow, and accumulations will be minor. Here's the North Carolina line here, and there's Norfolk. And this is all snow, and it's all sliding southeast. And we've had reports about one to about two inches of snow through here already. So it'll be very slick if you're traveling Richmond down towards Norfolk today. So that is the scene with the radars. Snowfall key.
sure it's here. Yeah. Oh, dining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, adventure. Yeah. Romance. Yeah. <laughs> senses in Florida. Return to your senses in Florida. For information, call 904-487-1462. The year's most treacherous tornadoes, the Ultimate Tornado Collection, documenting one unbelievable year. Now available on cassette for the first time exclusively from the Weather Channel. Order now and you also get this one-of-a-kind tornado calendar, both for only $22.95. Tornadoes 1995, 20 minutes of non-stop action never seen before. Feel the force of one of the most powerful twisters ever. Feel the terror of the photographers who face these deadly storms. I've got oh major God. damage at the funeral. Major damage. Oh, God. I'm so scared. See eyewitness video of six twisters in a row touched down at the same time. Plus a special bonus. You'll also get the official 1996 tornado calendar. Keep track of the new year and marvel at the dramatic tornado photographs for each and every month. A great gift. A value set not available in any store. Tornadoes 1995 and the tornado calendar for just $22.95. Call 1-800-626-9477. That's 1-800-626-9477. Call now. All right, let's check out the international weather. And first of all, we'll check on what's happening via the satellite picture. And we'll show you the cloud cover. There's a nice little curl here. Low pressure working on through Sicily, heading on over towards Crete. And with that, there are some rain showers moving on in. More rain upstream. We've had about a half an inch of rainfall today in Lisbon, Portugal. And then across London, some light rainfall. The big low is off of the Emerald Isle offshore Ireland. Check out the actual forecast now. This will be for midday on Tuesday. Low pressure right off the coast. Again, the front bowing its way through the Benelux nations down the Rhine Valley. And then there's another massive rainfall primarily around the Aegean Sea. Plenty of mild air in the Pyrenees. A lot of 50s southward down towards Portugal. And a lot of teens and 20s over by Eastern Europe. Athens showers wet, high near 50. London cloudy, mid 40s. Frankfurt, a couple of showers, upper 30s, just ahead of the warm front. And around Stockholm, cloudy and temperatures in the mid 20s. We'll come back and update Alaska and Hawaii. Thereafter, touch base on the heavy snow moving back into the New York City area. Working toward the weekend? Watch the Weekend Outlook to find out what the temperatures will be and if there's a chance of rain, only on the Weather Channel. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. Let's talk exercise. Lifting the TV remote. Does that count? What if it were easy? Oh, I'd like to know what you call easy. 20 minutes a day, three days a week. And what do we call this marvel of modern exercise? The Nordic Rider, new from Nordic Track. The new Nordic Rider is the smooth, easy way to get fit at a great price. Advanced push and pull dual motion lets you exercise more muscle groups, including your arms, legs, back, chest, and stomach. Burn off calories and get a better total body workout with the new Nordic Rider, yours for only $299.95. The Nordic Rider is from Nordic Track, a recognized leader in home fitness, so your complete satisfaction is guaranteed. Try it for 30 days in your home and see the results. If you're not 100% satisfied, send it back for a refund. Call now for a free information kit about the only rider that's good enough for the Nordic Track name, the Nordic Rider. Call the number on your screen today for a free information kit.
You're watching The Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. All right, check out the Alaska Hawaii weather now. It's not too bad off. We have a couple of major low pressure areas, one out here by the International Date Line, and there's a weaker wave of low pressure riding on this front. Then there's a couple of systems clipping on across the northern Gulf of Alaska. Let's show you the satellite picture in motion now. See what's happening. There's that one low churning came off of uh, Sapporo, and now it's getting over by the date line, kind of dropping on southward. There's another low that's moved on into British Columbia, taking with us some pretty warm air. Maybe this will signal a pattern change downstream later on in the week. We can only hope. Meanwhile, up around the mainland of Alaska, still plenty of cold air. Let's check out the actual numbers for Hawaii now. Not too bad off, 72 at this hour in Honolulu and 69 down on the Big Island around Hilo. And how about Fairbanks, 13 below zero, right about on target. We're gaining some serious daylight these days, gaining four minutes a day now. So quite a bargain and we're on the road to recovery, I think, in that department. Six in Anchorage, 38 in Juneau, the inside passage, a little bit cloudy, some showers on occasion. A little wind out here too, it feels like 22 in the capital city. And a wind chill of 44 below in Fairbanks. We'll check on the snow and especially the radars on the corridor next. Melatonin, it's making news. Melatonin, people are excited about it. Now, General Nutrition Centers has melatonin in three milligram tablets or a new sublingual liquid. General Nutrition, it's America's melatonin headquarters. You betcha world-class entertainment is included. It's an all-inclusive resort. There's all-inclusive. Or they're super inclusive. At Super Club Breezes, it's not just included, it's actually fun. So have a ball. It's all inclusive, hey! Or super inclusive breezes. To book your vacation, including airfare, call the vacation store right now at 1 800 TBS 8111. Time now to check out that winter storm update for you. And our winter storm update is sponsored by Safe Step. Start you off by looking at our airports. Once again, this is a no-brainer. The airports are shut. Boston, Logan Airport, all the New York City airports shut. Both airports in Washington, down the corridor farther into Richmond, and of course Philadelphia shut. 24-hour snowfall records, we have broken some of these now. We uh, had prior records of 21 in Washington and 21.3 in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, you have obliterated the old record. 29.5 inches at last check and the snow is still piling on up. Roanoke, Virginia, down around the New River Valley, 22.2. Lynchburg at 20 and Cincinnati, a 24-hour record as well, 12.8 inches. Check out some of these numbers. This is just mind-boggling for the blizzard of 96 out there by Kane College in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Checking in with 32 inches, Philadelphia up to 30. Washington, Dulles Airport, 24. Roanoke in New York, kind of duking it out right now at 22. I think New York's gonna win that battle though, as Roanoke has a little sunshine now. Providence, 18 inches, Hartford, 12. And Boston, closing in rapidly on a foot of snow and quite a bit more south of town, down around, say, Plymouth and over by Attleboro near the Rhode Island border. There's your heavier snowfall in the Appalachians. Just a, a back-breaking snowfall. Some tallies of as much as three feet out there at the homestead. That is a ski area in West Virginia, right near White Sulphur Springs. Your culprit, well, there she is, low pressure. And uh, she might as well be a hurricane, but uh, I think this is gonna slowly work its way off to the east-northeast. Still some very gusty winds. We had a wind gust to near 50 in the past hour in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Snow is still coming down at a good clip anywhere from Cape Cod down across extreme southern Massachusetts, Mocha, I'll get it out, most of Connecticut. And again, southern New York State just getting hammered around the White Plains area, Rockland, Westchester County. A lot in New Jersey, our snow is kind of collapsing back towards the low center, getting down over the Palisades, coming back over the Big Apple, and Jill Brown, I think, will uh, get us to uh, verify that at the top of the hour. Let's show you that radar view, see what's happening now around the city. Here's your snowfall, the low center, by the way, south of Suffolk, down around this area here. You can see that rotation. Looks like that might be the center right about in here. Look at our snowfall from Boston. 
right out the Mass Pike. Albany light snow, it picks up tremendously though in Poughkeepsie, down through Rockland and Westchester counties, and up around Danbury, down through White Plains. 684 is a real mess. And again, the uh, travel just uh, basically off limits in New Jersey. It's pretty amazing when you close the Garden State Parkway and the Jersey Turnpike, the busiest toll road in probably the entire world. And why not? Snow continues to fly here. Philadelphia getting snow, Dover getting snow, snow down to Salisbury. Still some snow showers likely to come through Washington. They should be fairly light, however. And everything pretty much wrapping around that low center, which is now a beam with Long Beach Island on the Jersey Shore. Let's take it back to our snowfall forecast now. This will be for the next 12 to 24 hours till 7 a.m. Tuesday. Our best guesstimate, sometimes these things get out of control. We're going to try to give you our best estimate here. We'll call for 6 to 12 additional inches from near Kittery and Portsmouth, although it's not snowing yet in Portland. I think that snow will wrap on in. And again, the snow is quite heavy in Boston, down through Warwick and a wound socket in Providence, Rhode Island, and lighter snowfall around Philadelphia. You may see another inch or two, hopefully not much more than that. And around the city, hard to say, but maybe two to five additional inches more on the island. Very gusty winds. We have coastal flood warnings from Fenwick Island, Delaware, to the Merrimack River, and also for the sound side flooding with a northwest wind over by the Outer Banks of North Carolina. In addition, we have a storm warning, Merrimack River down to Fenwick Island. East-northeast winds gusting 55 to uh, 70 miles per hour out there in the open seas. And once again, this is just buffeting the coast. Tremendous waves crashing in over by East Ham on the Cape and out towards Montauk on the island and also down around Seabright, New Jersey. I'm sure it is a pretty desperate situation there. 20 below is how it feels in Boston. Don't get out there and feel it, though. 14 below in Pittsburgh, and it feels like 7 below in Washington. Jeff Morrow is out there. He feels it. That's his job. 5 below now in Atlanta. And how about a 23 in Tampa, Florida? 6 in Panama City. This is nasty. Skies have cleared. A north wind trucking down the cold air. There's going to be a hard freeze, possibly in Tampa and Orlando tonight. We'll have more on that for you momentarily. Here are your wind chills nationwide. Still kind of ridiculous, feels like 12 below in the Dallas area. Not too bad in Denver, that beauty of that downsloping wind helping you to warm things up nicely. And again, the actual air temperatures, very, very cold. Teens down into the Tennessee Valley area. Some t single digits around Springfield, Illinois last hour. Now there is some relief. Look at these 30s, and that's behind a warm front. Some of that warmer air is wrapping all the way around that high pressure area. It's going to be a several day period though before we get that recovery around New York City and watch the fog and some light rainfall in the west. I don't like to admit it, but I do have more aches and pains now than I did 10 years ago. Fortunately, I've also got something else I didn't have 10 years ago, Motrin IB. Motrin IB, the pain stops here. what conditions to expect when you reach your destination. Watch the Business Travel Forecast, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. And now it's time for the Michelin Driver's Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. Check out that radar. We have our rainfall primarily in the west, some snow in the higher mountain areas, Montana, Idaho, and the Tetons. Rainfall in extreme northern California. And it's just a mess back east. This is pretty much all snow now. Blizzard conditions, Philadelphia, New York, right up along the New England Thruway up on I-95, all across southern Connecticut. Snow is kind of spotty up around Portland, back to about, oh, say, Plymouth, New Hampshire, and Albany. We think that'll get heavier later on today. Let's show you that radar view, though. See what's going on here at this hour. And the radar at this hour showing us our snow from Boston to Concord up on the, uh, that's the uh, Spalding Pike and the Everett Turnpike, pretty snowy as well. Everything here rotating slowly on to the east. Back to our maps, our windy travel areas, very gusty west winds on I-25 in Wyoming, and some rainy travel into the northwest. A little fog now. It's still pretty thick in the Central Valley of California on I-5. Your local weather next. Presenting the ultimate tire for your sport utility vehicle, the Michelin LTX. Michelin's technological advances in sidewall and tread design give it a smoother, quieter ride than you might ever expect from a 4x4 tire. 
Yet it's rugged enough, tough enough, and Michelin enough to get you through anything. The LTX Series from Michelin. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. Hon, <coughs> does Sherry have a fever? No. No? A runny nose, a sore throat? No. No? Then why get her medicine for symptoms she doesn't have? You're right, we won't. If your child doesn't have everything, why give her a medicine that treats everything? Triaminic has specialized formulas so you can relieve just the symptoms they have. This is what she needs. I know, I was just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> Triaminic, just the medicine they need. And now your local forecast. Accurate, convenient, and dependable. Only on the Weather Channel. special edition of Weatherscope with the latest winter storm update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bruce Edwards in the Weather Channel Forecast Center. Of course, in the East Coast, we're just past the lunch hour right now. We're just starting the lunch hour. And we're continuing to watch the blizzard of 96 as it once again uh, wreaks havoc across the Northeast. Just Within the last week, we've had some heavy snows in New England, and here we go again with more heavy snow now moving through uh, a good chunk of uh, Connecticut and Massachusetts. But situated through the entire storm has been Jill Brown in uh, Central Park, New York, just off Central Park, and Jill's with us right now. And Jill, I see uh, a few more bodies moving around there besides yourself. On the Upper West Side here, and this is a sight you are not going to see often. You're looking at uh, Central Park West here with no traffic on a Monday. The morning rush hour was nothing. We've seen a few buses go by, a uh, few cabs, and even over on Broadway, the next street over, there's just no one out in a vehicle. You can catch some of the subways, but most folks today are deciding that they're going to walk, which New Yorkers like to do and have to do, really. And a lot of folks are getting by on skis today. But it's 20 degrees, light snow, and a little nicer than yesterday because the winds have died down. That's been the biggest thing. Well, Jill, I noticed in the background in the street looks like maybe a street hockey game breaking out with the kids out uh, of school today, and this is sort of a rare treat for them as well. It sure is. Can you imagine? It's been 18 years since the last time they let the New York City school kids out for a snow day. So they are definitely happy today. We've seen them on skis, and uh, the sleds are coming by, and a lot of happy faces. Maybe not on the adults, but definitely on the kids' faces. Well, just think, those kids, when they grow up, they can uh, tell their kids, uh, just think, uh, oh, back in 96, uh, I played street hockey on Broadway in New York City. So uh, they're having <laughs> some fun, I'm sure. Well, Jerry, take care, stay warm, and we'll talk with you a little bit later on. 
Meanwhile, other action going on with this uh, storm system. It has wreaked havoc. The kids like it and they enjoy it, of course, but anyone that has to get out and about, it's just nothing but major nightmares and major headaches. We take a look at some of the action, first of all, from the Big Apple, New York City. This is Central Park, and look at the statues wearing a shawl of white as a frozen Big Apple, and I tell you, that's the best way to get out and about. A little ski action right through the heart of the city, and that'll get you there, but cover up everything you can because wind chills are dangerous. Out on Long Island, the winds are really whipping. The snows came down fast and furious. The Long Island Expressway, once again, a parking lot in spots, and navigating through that was a, a big chore indeed. And it, we still have some light snow now in the Long Island area, but don't be surprised. I know for Jill Brown, we should have probably warned her, but we're getting a little bit of a backwash effect, so we're getting some moderate to heavy snows now in northern New Jersey, and that could sweep across the New York metro area within the next hour or so. Let's take a look at the situation, and now as far as the history is concerned, we added a new category to our snow history. That's the purple. That is where we have experienced better than two feet of snow. Usually we stop at a foot or better, but we've had so many reports of better than two feet of snow that we had to add a new category to the map. Here's a look at some of the numbers for you. Elizabeth, New Jersey, almost three feet of snow, 30 inches in Philly, 24, two feet in D.C., 22 inches in my old stomping grounds, Roanoke, Virginia, 22 so far in LaGuardia, Boston, 11, but it's coming down at the rate of an inch an hour in Boston. You may see the worst yet to come. Philly had a daily snowfall record of just about that 30 inch mark. Roanoke uh, and the other side of the Blue Ridge Mountains, Lynchburg, set a daily snowfall record with this storm. And even then, on the shores of the Ohio River, Cincinnati, Ohio, almost 13 inches for a 24 hour snowfall record. We take a look at the current situation as far as the airports are concerned. And again, these airports are closed. They're going to reassess the situation at most airports tonight. But uh, Baltimore has decided they're not even going to look at it until about noon tomorrow. So they're closed. So if you're planning on flying in or out of the Northeast, forget about it until perhaps Tuesday at the earliest. We look at the situation on the surface map right now, and there we can see the low pressure system swirling about, and it's bringing in some gusty winds, and once again, some heavy snows, and a little backwash snow is what we're seeing. Here's a look at the regional radar, and if you notice, there's a little slot of uh, somewhat uh, drier air that has been creeping in right on through this area right here with the swirl of low pressure, but what we're seeing is uh, most of this moisture is wrapping around in that clockwise fashion around the low pressure area, and what we're seeing is some moderate to occasionally heavy amounts of snow moving through. Now, as we look to the northeast around Boston and Worcester and Norwood, even at Chicopee Falls and the Berkshires, we're getting uh, some moderate to heavy snows right in this general area right on through here at the present time. But we see a little bit of a clearing as we work our way on towards Providence and southern portions of Connecticut. Meanwhile, farther south, what we're seeing is the wrap of that moisture, and that moisture is wrapping around and bringing some occasionally moderate snows east of D.C. towards Richmond, Norfolk, and Newport News and working its way offshore. But once this band of moderate to heavy snow is through, I think we ought to be in pretty fair shape, at least improving conditions here. Now, the snowfall forecast through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, as you'll note, from down east Maine right along the coast down to around eastern Connecticut, that's where we're forecasting an additional 3 to 6 inches of snowfall over the next 24-hour period. Now, coastal flood warnings uh, have still issued from the Merrimack to Fenwick Island at the present time. And again, south and north of that, gale warnings are presently in effect for that region of the country, so uh, around the coastal region, as well as from Savannah, Georgia, down to St. Augustine, as strong winds being felt all the way down into South Florida. This is a humdinger of a storm. The blizzard of 96 is now uh, affecting central New England with the heaviest snows in northern New Jersey. We'll continue with updates all throughout the course of the day, but right now, Vivian Brown has a look at our forecasts in the Weather Channel studios. Vivian? Thank you very much, Bruce. Just another look at that storm along the northeastern seaboard. You can see it's offshore, but still the counterclockwise winds with it, bringing in the moisture, the cold air still in place. And as Bruce mentioned, we still have some pretty significant snows in central and eastern Massachusetts, down to uh, Concord, New Hampshire, or should I say down to Hartford, Connecticut, up to Concord, New Hampshire. We've had some heavier snows around Portsmouth, actually, within the last hour. So this area of low pressure will continue to move off to the northeast. So we do anticipate improving conditions from south to north as this system starts to lift off in that direction. Now, before it moves completely away, we still have the potential for three to six inches of additional snow in eastern Massachusetts and down east Maine. But again, as it continues to move away, we will slowly but surely say good riddance to this big 1996 snowstorm, which has been pretty much the heavy, which has brought pretty much the heaviest snows we've seen within the last decade across Philadelphia and the nation's capital. Here's tomorrow morning. It's out of here. Good.
Britain. Here's our next system, though. It's clipping across the Great Lakes, and as it slides into the region, it'll bring some light snow and perhaps another dose of light snow tomorrow over parts of the Northeast. But hey, this is nothing compared to what we've seen, so we'll just chalk this up as a little dusting. The next system in the Pacific Northwest, some light rain along the coast in the higher elevations anticipate the snows, but it will remain fairly dry in the nation's midsection within the next 24 hours. So you have no measurable amounts of precipitation here. Of course, this is liquid equivalent to the snow, an additional three to six inches right along the coast of Maine and Massachusetts, and you see snow in the higher terrain out west. Afternoon highs tomorrow or today, should I say, will stay in the 30s across much of northern Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama. There you see the 20s, teens, and single digits the farther north you go. And overnight tonight, we have hard freeze advisories in effect for a good part of Florida as temperatures are expected to drop into the 20s. Be careful. Do, 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 do. The coffee purging in this pot is America's best loved coffee. As long as liberty is alive and well. Nearly 4,000 of us have marched from the city. As long as lighthouses shine. And there are lessons to be learned. Just as long as the tide turns. Maxwell House will always be good to the last drop. Exposures is a weekly show about the raw power of nature. There's a gas leak! Let's go! Come on! Earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes. Look at this structure! It's a show packed with amazing photography, new technology, and vital information. Because no matter where you live, dangerous weather exists. It affects you. We weren't prepared for this type of devastation. It touches your life. Watch Exposures, weekends at noon Eastern on The Weather Channel. And now your local forecast, accurate, convenient, and dependable, only on the Weather Channel. Can't keep up with your old ma, huh? Not with this headache. Where's your uh, Tylenol? Oh, it's Advil now. Mom, you never used anything but Tylenol. Well, times change. There you go. You know, these days it's Advil I trust. Yeah, a lot of people do.